message for women or black women or women as a whole. Let me tell you something. If you're someone, you know, 20-ish, 30-ish, 40-ish, 50-ish, and so on. If, you, if you're if plus size, if you're thin, short, and tall, it's okay. The only thing I just say, black women, use your attitude for a fetish place or use your attitude and strength for bullies and protecting yourself. Don't sit here and put all that mouth on for somebody to, 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 to die out for you that you don't know like that or do know like that. Because black fem and also black females, unless these women of unless these older women are helping y'all, don't take too much of their advice if they're if they're one of these bullies and bossy and mean older women, whether they're your mom, grandma, or aunts or sisters. Be careful of the females you be around if you wanna like have a healthy relationship. Now I'm not trying to say things are perfect, but Take time of who you're around and be careful who you're around because also, and also black women that do got that attitude, y'all days of having all that black, to, that attitude and thinking nobody can't check you, that's getting tired. Even me as a male, I know before someone give me that look, I know to be quiet. But I just want to say black women, it's not wrong with using your strength, but using it in the right way. And also black women, if you're plus size or thick or heavy, somebody can love you for that. If you're in between sides, somebody can love y'all for y'all sides. If you're skinny or taller or tall with it, somebody can love y'all. You be around somebody that can accept you for you. Don't worry about what a man's preference is, what a type is. We live in a world where, hello, look at this. I live, look at this. That's in my room. See this? You got tall and thin, short and thick, and medium sides. There's someone out there for all sides of people. But I just want to let you know, black women, find out. Why are you angry and where it starts at? Because, again, just like you're angry at somebody that broke your heart in elementary school, middle school, or high school throughout your life, take your time, find you, and get you together if you're still single. And even black men, if you're still hurt, that goes for y'all too. Or women and men in general. But the thing is, ladies, y'all gotta stop this thing when a man, a men, men always want, y'all gotta stop this thing being always told what y'all wanna hear. That's not always healthy. This is how men manipulate y'all. This is how men play games with y'all. And this is how men can take stuff and keep going. Because y'all ladies, y'all days of being spoiled and being told what y'all want to hear and do what y'all want, that's changing. What I'm saying is, ladies, stop living up to these feminist standards where they think it's okay for you to bash a man, embarrass a man, and make a man feel bad. And also, ladies... Stop always having it both ways where what do you do where if you, it's okay for you to make more money and at the same time, guys, we we're just supposed to change and come for you and be the super savior. And another thing I want to talk about. Gay males, we live in a world too, real world too. A lot of us are not all on Disney World living as a fairy and all fly down. How about a lot of us? Last time I checked, we come from men and women too. Last time I checked, we have experience too. Last time I checked. There's things we can see. Now, I'm not talking about gay men that gossip and run their mouth and try to, like, keep you single or make you lose a good relationship. Don't pay no men out there, no mind. Someone like me and others that can, try, that can try, like, set you in the right path. Now, I'm not saying I'm perfect. Someone like me that can try to get you in a healthy right path, right path of who you want to attract, who you want to be around. That's who you should listen to. But these ones out here that want to gossip. And also, male, women, don't be so quick to jump with males that want to just have sex with you. You let them know, hey... I'm not a prostitute. This ain't the club. This ain't no stripper place. You save that for women that want that. If you really love me and like me, give me time to respect that. And same thing with you men. No goes, no goes both ways too. But all I was trying to say is, if y'all as women want to prosper and flourish, you got to check yourself. And like I said, if you want to date in your, in your race, out your race, that's up to you. And same thing with black men. If you want to date in your race or out your race, that's up to you too. And also, black people, let's stop this thing. Oh, we are rainbow color. We are rainbow color. Oh, wait a minute. They ain't black. Oh, they ain't black. Shut the fuck up. Are we a rainbow color or not? If someone, how about, if someone choose someone dark, we hear all the time. I, me as a caramel person, I hear all the time in and out the black community. People want someone darker, dark skin, or chocolate. You don't see people like me get angry. Shit. People lighter than me get, get looked at. I don't get angry. People my complexion get looked at, and I don't. So what? But I just want to say to black females, if you want to find a man, you worry about the man you want to find and worry about the man you want to track and take your time. Don't worry about what other men should be doing and don't worry about what other women should be doing. You worry about if you even have kids, can they have a good future and a safe future? 
Because a lot of y'all black women, y'all been spoiled with y'all can do what y'all want to intimidate and use y'all fear and your aggression and strength in the wrong way. And y'all got to stop that. That's dangerous. I'm saying this out of love. Because like I said, and you also black women, it's funny how y'all can sit here and look at negative and make channels and bills on that on how to get somebody down. But y'all can't make bills on how to self-improve, how to save missing kids and how people that are actually being abused. And also, in my opinion, I think feminists should be used for women that are really sacri that re women that are really helping other women that are going through a lot of hell and they help men that are going through hell. And another thing, ladies, why is it okay for you to say sugar daddy, but it's not okay for men to say sugar sugar mommy? Or if a man get a money, oh he's a oh he's playing, but you a gold digger. No. In this new age, ladies, you can't have it where you can live where you can still live in the 21st century and a man supposed to be like in the 50s. No. This is 21st century on 21st century. You see, and even y'all women, even some of y'all men, y'all want to live all like this in the 21st century, but keep, but, but keep some women in the 50s. Like, even me. I'm, as a gay male, y'all days of just... Keep, now, I'm not trying to say I'm going to go up and hit everybody because I'm not into everybody, but y'all keeping me in a fucking... in a fucking, like, one-dimensional area, that's going to change because I'm not going to be someone... Where I'm going to just fly and say that then I get sacrificed. No. I'm going to take the time and do me. Because I'm somebody that was always made to do a lot. And not be appreciated. And one thing I'm not going to take even as a man. As a woman. Get, as, just like I'm not. I don't like, I, don't allow, I don't like when men get all smart. And I'm supposed to take their shit. I'm not going to allow women to verbally cut me down. Because I dealt with that. And, and another thing ladies. I want to talk about that. Stop verbally cutting down men. And stop verbally cutting down other women. And y'all older generation of women. If y'all want to still find somebody, y'all got to look at y'all outlook too. See, it's going to be a lot of changes one way or another. People going to have no choice but to look at themselves. And people going to have to make some interesting changes. But it takes you to make that. You know, but I just had to put that out there that ladies, take the time to find you. Take the time to get you together. Lose weight if you want to lose weight. Gain weight if you want to gain weight. Keep your weight if you want to keep it. Stay in between if you want to stay in between. You will find somebody. Take the time to learn who you are and love yourself. That's the best message I can give. But sitting here being a bully and, lo and losing your strength and aggression all the way, that's leading you to, that's leading you to a negative, a negative ending. All right, but this is my message out of love. Take care.